Hello. Hi, everybody. So today I wanted to bring up a very controversial subject, and I'm sure this is going to inflame a lot of people, but let's just have it anyway, okay? I mean, we're all friends here. I'm open for debate about this, and it's about the Illuminati and the New Age movement. Okay, this is what I got to say about this. I started uh, noticing this because... Um, I wrote a book about frequencies and the science of frequencies and how to use frequencies to manifest and how they actually work. New quantum physics is showing amazing things about the observation principle that basically says that you and I observing something actually changes what happens to it. Our feelings, our thoughts actually have a physical impact on material. Now this experiment was done, Schrodinger's cat back in the 1940s, that basically they put a cat in a box uh, with a, a poisonous substance, and while he was in the box and somebody was looking at it, they could release the substance uh, pretty much with their mind. And at the, at the time he's in the box, the cat supposedly is both dead and alive until the person decides whether this poison is released or not. So it was the first kind of beginnings of showing that what we feel and what we believe actually affects DNA and matter. Okay, this is quantum physics. Now, if you want to go down the rabbit hole a little more with quantum physics and vibration, you will find that because of the law of affinity, like attracts like. And because at a basic quantum physics level, everything boils down to vibration, which means we're all just vibrating light in the space, right? So we're all this vibrating light in the space and like vibrations will attract like vibrations. That's the whole principle of how you manifest, that you put out certain energy that then is brought back to you in the same energy. This is applying quantum physics. Okay, however, even though I won my scholarship, went with a bunch of scientists, later on when I was teaching this, a lot of people would be like, oh, that's new age. Oh, no, and they'd shut it down. And I'd be like, actually, no, it's not. It's quantum physics. So this is my topic of debate today. You know, we hear about the Illuminati. We hear about the New World Order. We hear about the Freemasons and all this power and all this stuff they had, this ability to create things somehow using special magic. And what I want to suggest is that that special magic that they're using is what we know as new quantum physics. And yeah, maybe they did know about it a long time and didn't want it to come out. Because when you use it correctly, quantum physics, you can create things. And if you group together and all start focusing on something, which they've shown with universal prayer that can heal people, a group thought will create even quicker and more concrete. So what I'm starting to wonder is, is the New Age movement simply a manifestation of quantum physics and that the Illuminati wants to smear, started this whole smear campaign against it because they don't want us using the same principles that they've kept secret all these years. They've managed to keep it to themselves while the rest of us flounder around in fear and chaos and they manifest what they want. Because if every time we start talking about using our power and somebody says, oh, pfft, don't listen to that, that's new age, or discounts it or calls somebody a witch, then we don't actually get to use that power, which is just applying quantum physics. So that's my question. Is this just a big smear campaign to keep us away from our power? And is the Illuminati and the Freemasons, were they simply just using what we know today as the quantum physics principle of frequency attunement? I would love your um, comments on this because I wrote my book on it and it was... You know, ultimately, though, when you get to dealing with real science, you run into spirit because they go together. You, you know, everything is spirit, and then you're going to measure that up with a scientific way. You're still dealing with spirit to begin with, or source energy, or God, or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, the Mayans called it, you know, God, the source of one movement and measure. So there was the ultimate continuous movement of source, and then there was scientists that sought to measure that source. Anyway, 
just throwing out some ideas. I would love your comments on this. It's pretty, um, it's one of those things that hits pretty home for people, I notice. They get really upset about it, and um, they often want to uh, somehow bring it into having to do or, or be against the Bible, uh, which I don't think it is. But I'm open to your opinions, and I'd really like to know what you think, because my belief is it's just a way to stop us from using our own power while they use the very same principles. That's what I'm starting to pick up. But uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say on this rainy Saturday in California. Linda West signing off, and I hope you have a uh, wonderful night.